Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. I have another fantastic, fantastic garden tour. I want to introduce you all to Ryan. Ryan, thank you for letting us be here. Oh, of course. Ryan was also on the Pence Gallery garden tour and her garden is stunning. You all are going to love this so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So thank you, thank you. Yeah. So Michael Glassman helped design yes. this, is that right? He did all the design. He's Incredible. Incredible. We're so Michael. happy with how it turned out. It really is gorgeous. But you picked out all the plants, is that I right? I picked out with Michael. <laughs> with some help, I, yeah. Yes, with him. Yeah. Um, but picked everything out and was real happy to show you around. Yeah. So you you and your family moved here to Davis. You went to college here in Davis, is yes. that right? Yes. And mm -hmm. went to back east for a long time and then just came back. Just came back a couple two, years yeah, ago. Yeah, a half years ago. And so you've been in this house for about two years, a mm -hmm. little over two years. And then you said the garden is... Maybe about a year old. About a year old. So it's yeah. still pretty fresh. It's still pretty young. But you can see it's starting to fill in. It's starting to look really gorgeous. And I'm so excited. What would, I mean, I know what my favorite part about your garden. It's your trees. The trees. The, they're yeah. stunning. They're, I can't wait to show you all in the backyard. What would you say your favorite part is about your garden? Um, the, trees. the trees. I love the I, The location is, is awesome. <sighs> I would so. like, I'm going to title this video Oasis Under the Oak Trees because <laughs> they're gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me grab my camera and then maybe you can show us around. Sounds good. All right. All right. So what we are in front of your house right now, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. I just have to say your house is stunning oh. on the inside. <laughs> It is stunning. Thank it you. is the type of house that I would just dream to live in. <laughs> was it hard to have the renovation be in construction for so long? It was. It was hard, but it was worth it. We worth really it. like it now that we're in. Now that we're back in. I love it. And then did you re you redid the outside of the house? We too. did. Well, we did. We we painted and up to, uh, spruced it up with with the garden. Yeah. yeah. And the new yeah. lights and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then you were telling me that you felt you felt like the garden made the house the garden definitely makes the house look so much better so it's like well it's nice you have pretty flowers but right. with the, but it just makes the house pop yes so absolutely um, i'll have to show you guys from the street because okay. it looks so much better yeah. than, it, than it did can we first start off with these what are these right mm -hmm. here this is um jasmine yeah jasmine yep. <laughs> and this is the um, white jasmine yeah and we did we did these trellises to match the front um the front banister oh, it's gorgeous so it kind of all goes together and the same the same iron work is out back also oh beautiful so these are going to start well did they already they bloom already this year? bloomed yeah did they, smell they, they smelled really good oh, yeah my goodness and then up here you have this cute little collection yeah these are tree ferns um they're just like been growing like crazy. I had to keep cutting off the branches because they're just like taking over. All right, let me bring you all out to the front so that we can see. Now you and Michael designed these gorgeous steps right here. Yeah, the steps are, I love how the steps turned out. Before it was just a very narrow, like little walkway. And so this is oh, much they're better. so they, pretty. They have lights on them. So it Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. Goodness. So this is the sign from where like our old how it used to oh, look. Oh, cute! And we just tore it off the side, and then I'm like, I'm like, I can't get rid of that. This is, no, this is how so it used cute. to look. Okay, so first of all, everybody, look at the oak trees. Look at them. Were you just like in love as soon as you saw this property? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you you all bought this house from another couple, an elderly couple, is that right? From the original owners. Your original owners. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, and they love the oak trees too. They're so. jealous. Stay. So when yeah. I came on the Pence Gallery Garden Tour, that's the I couldn't I could I took pictures of them because they're just so <laughs> stunning. Well, you know, it's really nice because. In the summer, it's like 15 degrees cooler in the shade, so yes. it's just much, much oh, nicer. Oh my goodness. So tell me about this ground cover. This is supposed to be drought, it is drought resistant. Mm -hmm. um, and originally it was just all grass in the front. Oh, okay. And it was just, it was just so much grass. Yeah. Um, and so this, I like Myoporum. how this turns out myoporum there, yeah yeah how it turned out it just gives a lot more dimension to it and i love how it kind of is growing in between the in between the, the steps all that kind of yeah. stuff and then the three trees right here 
these are crepe myrtles. Crepe myrtles yeah. yeah. What yeah. color? Have They're these... purple. Purple. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about why purple. So, so I wanted to do the iceberg, iceberg roses. So that was mm -hmm. the white. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to choose one other color um, just because I'm like, otherwise it's going to be so hard to pick the flowers. Right. It's gonna, I'm going to limit my Stick with it. <laughs> by <laughs> one <smart> color. <laughs> so many choices. Yes. Um, and my daughter's favorite color is purple. Aww. So I was like, well, oh, why not? What a good mom. <laughs> oh, so purple crepe myrtles, beautiful. And then you said agapanthus. Yeah, agapanthus. Those are purple too. Purple. The deep, deep purple ones. Gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh, I love the deep purple ones. They're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And then you all can see, oh my goodness. This is such an amazing example. Can I step on the grass? Oh yeah, of course. This is an amazing example of the iceberg roses. They're just so beautiful and they do so well for us here. And it's just, oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. And you even have them over on this side too. Gorgeous. Can you tell everybody yeah. about, so when I came um, for the garden tour, your daughter was out here chasing. Oh, we have a little Peter Rabbit bunny. Yes, um, they have a bunny. So cute. <laughs> the bunny is just the cutest thing. The um, sweetest, Poochie. Poochie. Yeah. So yeah. she was out here chasing Poochie the bunny and my daughters were like, <gasps> best friend. <laughs> It was so sweet. So then it looks like there's a little mound right here. Yeah, they right? did the mat. They added the mound just okay. to give some interest. And also our bunny loves to be on the mound because oh. he can look out. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. He has a little bit of, yeah, so it's a bunny mound. <laughs> yeah, so you just let him run out here? When we are out here, we supervised. That yeah. That is so yeah. cute. These roses smell so good, Ryan. They just, oh my gosh, they smell so good. And then here, more purple. More purple, yeah. Um, this is the pin cushion. Yep. And those are those are doing really, really well. Beautiful. They're probably so happy here. Um, and then Mexican sage. Gorgeous. And, and then like the... more purple agathanthus. Yeah. And then I see you have um, the topiaries dotted yeah, everywhere. Yeah, the topiaries. That's, that's beautiful. And you're growing a boxwood hedge as well. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it more natural looking though oh, versus, I think so. Yeah. Just, so maybe not so formal, but a little. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, oh. yeah. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's still a young garden, but you can see where it's going and everything's starting to fill in and it's just so beautiful here. Thank and then you, you have know. three more, um, what'd you say? Those were red bud trees. We right have here? red buds. Those just finished blooming, which is, oh. I was like, oh shoot. But they were very, very pretty. Those were purple too. And then the butterfly bushes oh, are just, just getting going. It's just beautiful. I love that you've kept to a color story. Of what, I mean, it's just, someone, it's called the paradox of choice. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many choices smart. in the or in the nursery. You're so smart. <laughs> just yeah, someone who cannot say no to color. I love seeing this because it's so interesting and it's so beautiful and it just the whole garden just kind of comes together. Thank you. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Can we see the backyard? Yes, please. Okay. Ooh, this is beautiful. Japanese maple right yeah, here. Yeah. That is gorgeous. And then again, more of the oak trees. Did Michael put the rocks around it? The like rocks that? were already here. Oh, they were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you have lighting too, I can see. We added all the lighting. The lighting is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm sure it's absolutely gorgeous. What is this? I didn't even notice this. Ugh. Is this a little storage this shed? Is, yeah, this is a shed. So we wow. put a, we have kind of a cool door on it. Oh my um, goodness. It's like this, and it's just so nice. Things you don't want in your garage. Yes. You know, like gardening stuff, old bikes. Oh, that's <laughs> go fantastic. Oh, yeah. that is beautiful. All right. So wow. let me show you all more of the hardscape, more of the stepping stones are just stunning. And then, oh gosh, <laughs> how nice, how wonderful. Oh my goodness, I haven't even noticed this. I walked right by this little outdoor, <laughs> outdoor shower. shower. Yeah. So my daughter loves to have play dates where we just have the kids in the, um, the hot tub and they can just go straight to the shower. How fun. I want to be your daughter's friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then beautiful Japanese maples behind. Mm -hmm. And then you're lucky your neighbors have some beautiful trees back there they too. They do, yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty nice. And then I've noticed you have planted some vinca minor. Yeah. Is that right? So yeah. that should fill in and look really, really beautiful eventually. We want oh. to just, yeah, to just not have so much grass, which is the water 
you know, just drains us on the water. So yeah. we had to look for ways that we could do something else. Yeah, you've done great. You've done a great job. Can you tell me what these things back here are? These are camellias. Oh, man. Um, do you know what this kind? Is, I don't know what kind. This is one, my one deviation from the purple is the pink. Aww. When I when I was little, we had pink camellias. Oh, so I'm like, I put, I put those You in. had to do it. I had to do it. You yeah. had to do it. Oh, I just love it. So see what I mean by the oak trees? I mean, look at that. Can you imagine? And so remember, here in Davis, we get up to like 110 degrees regularly in the summer. So 15 degrees cooler, that's nice. It's a really big difference. That's yeah. really, really yeah. nice. What a beautiful, beautiful place to come and hang out. Thanks. Um, okay, so. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> so, you guys live on a golf course. We live on a golf course, yeah. Which is beautiful. So you have this borrowed green landscape yes, behind it's, that's you. That's why I say it's the best because someone else mows the grass. Else <laughs> not, not us. Someone so we else, can look at it. Someone else pays to water but it. We don't have to water it. We don't have to mow it. So that's why back here, we just we decided to do a lot of hardscape yep. to, you know, we had, we could enjoy the grass from the golf course, yes. but isn't that nice that you just don't have to worry about it really is that yeah. extra. Yeah. So can you sit back here and watch the golfers and everything? <laughs> we can actually there, the balls always end up in our pool. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah. The vac <laughs> the pool vacuum does not like golf balls. Uh oh. So we are all constantly <laughs> battling the splices, oh, people's no. bad hits. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And then more beautiful Japanese maples over here. Gorgeous. Yeah, and the hydrangeas are, are bluish purple. They are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, more yeah. purple. I love it. Yeah. So are you the one who, did you want to have these topiaries here? Yeah. Yeah. We put, so we have, you can come up on the, on the, the, the patio. So we had the iceberg roses and then down in front of like the i guess in the middle of it we have a carpet rose oh and then we 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 broke and then topiary that the um the iceberg roses again so we broke it up with topiaries when you go for the different types of roses oh, interesting because inside we can look out and, and the so icebergs we don't aren't want to see it. yeah the, a lot of the oh, big that's roses so smart that's so smart. Okay, so you can see there's icebergs over there. Those get about four feet tall. And then the topiary, is that, that's just a boxwood yeah, topiary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then carpet roses right here. Yeah. Wow. And so then when we built the deck, we put the, just so we didn't, we weren't blocking it, mm -hmm. we built the, the, um, the planters into the deck versus having them on top of the deck. Yeah, so it's really, really open. Yeah. I just have to point out. <laughs> yeah, someone, stray golf ball. <laughs> uh, someone did not was did not stay on the fairway on that one. Have you seen that video where the dad they, they live on a golf course and every time someone hits it, the dad goes and lays next to the golf ball no. like it's like it hit him and he just lays flat down on the ground. I love That's it. That's funny. I love it. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you know what kind of stone this? This is, is? travertine. Oh, it's just beautiful and um, it has this grayish color which matches your inside of the house perfectly really yeah. really beautiful and then your gorgeous gorgeous outdoor kitchen i'm sure this gets used a ton during the summer it does yeah oh. it just put the food out and stuff and that's granite so very easy to take care of and yeah. the lighter color doesn't show dirt as much on the outside all as this stuff darker color yeah oh my goodness i just have to say this garden is just incredible <laughs> you Thank are you. so lucky i mean look at this back here look at this and then more of these hydrangeas yeah and they're not quite blooming yet but they will be and they'll be a stunner once they're once they're blooming they come in. Kind yeah. of stuff. so do you find yourself wanting to add more plants to your garden or are you happy with no no more plants no you're done <laughs> we're done i can't this is as enough of as to take care of yes <laughs> yeah i think that that's great i think that's great that you know that and you know you've limited your color palette so it all makes sense 
and you don't have to worry about it. And now you just, you can wait and let it grow in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just enjoy it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Well, I just want to say a huge thank you for oh, letting yeah. us come. I really, really appreciate it. And another huge thank you for being on the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. Oh, because it's so much fun. It is so much fun. We come to see the garden. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Really yeah. beautiful. And I just have to say, you know, how fun is it to see another one of Michael Grassman's designs? So anyway, Ryan, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for coming. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. <laughs>